everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl samantha and i'm back with a brand new video if you've never been to my channel before i film videos on luxury fashion beauty and life so if you love those topics and you like my energy do hit the subscribe button below so you get to see the rest of my videos here's another episode of what's in my bag and i'll be featuring the inner workings of my stunning Prada re-edition in Safiano leather. I got this as the very first luxury handbag in store ever and so this is a very precious bag to me. I am very attached to it but also it is one of my most used if not the most used luxury handbags in my collection. I share a whole lot of videos on this bag, everything from the unboxing to my first impressions to just really reviews of how the bag and the leather has held up over the past few years. So make sure to link it up above so you can watch it for yourself. Prada continuously makes this bag in different colorways and materials and it is not going anywhere. The style is still like everlasting. I actually just got back from an event. As you can see, my makeup is a little bit more done up than usual. Oh my God. So I, I went to a cute holiday event and they were having this little station where you could do your makeup or they would do your makeup for you. And I, it looked really good in the dark because the event was indoors and was kind of lit with holiday light so it was quite dark and so when he was doing my makeup in the dark I was like oh yeah yeah this looks really good and then I exited the the um that space where the event was happening into the bright daylight and I looked at myself in a mirror in passing and I was just like oh my god I look like a clown so I came back I tried to blend everything out I was wearing well, he said it was nude but honestly it was more of a red than anything and I had to really just mattify everything, blend out the eyeshadow quite a bit, but a little bit of blending for the blush because there was a bit of blush, like a bit too much blush. Um, and then I switched up to my Gucci nude instead of a bright red color. Um, if you are familiar with the re-edition design, it comes in the nylon as well as the Safi Enro leather. I always thought that the nylon was kind of tacky, hence why um, I do recommend if you're going for this bag to go with the Safi Enro leather. It's just a little bit more classy and long lasting. Um, it does come with a cute little pouch that can be hooked on to the crossbody strap. This is a cloth crossbody strap. It is not leather, but it's still so chic and so useful. One of the reasons why this bag is my most used bag is because of the ease and versatility of this bag. I could literally wear it as a crossbody in the day, and then if I have a night out, I could take the crossbody off and wear it as a handbag. So cute, we love practicality and versatility here on this channel. So first up, I have my trusty claw clip. Nice and compact, because this bag, it is not the biggest bag, but, but it actually holds more than you think. Currently, I'm filming with my Canon G7X. It's a great vlogging camera and it fits so comfortably in this bag. So it's one of those things where it looks nice and small, but it actually holds a considerable amount. So, this is my claw clip. I got this from a pack of five at Winners. I know it's quite summery, but sometimes I just like to add a happy pop of color, especially if it's dark and gloomy outside. Next up, I have my trusty card holder. You guys have seen this card holder in so many of these what's in my bag videos because I just I just use this all the time. Um, I do think I'm going to sell my Celine wallet because I just have not been using her. Follow me on Poshmark because I will be listing it there. Um, next up, I actually have sunscreen in my bag. This is a brand, it's a K-beauty brand um, called Round Lab and I have just been targeted on TikTok by just K-beauty videos and I had a few videos saved on this brand because people were just raving about the sunscreen stick and I found this at H Mart on sale and so I was like you know what I don't have to wait till I'm going to Korea to get it why not I just try it now because the price was like $23.99 Canadian which is not that much more expensive than if you bought it in Korea and like if I like it then I can just bulk buy when I visit right so it literally looks like a deodorant stick it looks like my native deodorant stick and it goes on so incredibly lightweight and smooth I had to touch my face a couple times 
just to check that there's actually sunscreen on it but how amazing is this because a it's so easy to carry around you don't have to worry about leakage because it's not a liquid it's a solid and also if you're traveling you don't have to you don't have to worry about this because it's a solid okay so next up i have my glasses i know so interesting i have my glasses i need it because i wear daily contact lenses and i don't wear the monthly ones because i don't usually wear contact lenses every day especially since right now i work remote most of the time um and so i just when i have events or anything just in case my eye gets dry or my contacts get dry i can just quickly like switch it out with my glasses the really cute prada sunglasses these are actually alberts but i like to borrow them because it, it's a very chic look and it also has nose pads so if you're asian and you have the asian nose bridge you understand my pain when i say that a lot of sunglass designs slip off your face and so i always love when there's nose pads because it holds like really nice and as you can see so chic so <laughs> i always borrow them oh my god i have a huge bottle or like tub of l'occitane hand cream the almond hand and nail care it's been so incredibly cold it's turning from fall to winter um, and my hands have been so dry and so i just have like a tub of moisturizer in my bag for whenever i need it also have good old scrunchy good old hair tie especially if you have as much hair as i do it's just it's easy to have this on hand also this is so cute so this is actually a gift from an event that i went to to support um oma she's a bridal designer based in vancouver and she designed my wedding dress and she's also a dear friend so this is made from repurposed fabrics that were used to make the wedding dresses that she does make and how beautiful is this like i love to use this um and always carry with me a hair tie as well as claw clip of some sort just because i can't decide I can't decide what style I want sometimes or I'm just late so it's nice to have some options okay last but not least we have our lippies so first up I will show you what I got at the event so one of the booths was from was from Butterfingers today um so one of the event booths that I was at was from Valentino Beauty and so it was a perk where they were like here have a sample of our lipstick so this is the satin lipstick I believe it is in I don't know what shade this is but it's it's a red it's a bright red so perfect for the holidays and here as you can see I want to say that it is going to be a very vibrant bright red i usually tend to go for deeper darker reds but this is a bit more spicy than i'm used to but never say never like if i was going to a holiday party and was wearing all black i want to don a red lip i think this would be a really great option um i also have my bobby brown lip balm so there's not much color to it, but there is a nice, very subtle tint if you do wear it without lipstick, but it is very, very moisturizing and hydrating. Um, if you guys watched my other What's in My Bags, I usually carry the Burt's Bee lip balm that it's my holy grail. I use it so much at home. But you know, like when you're out and about, you want to have like a nice lip balm um this is always a really good option and then last but not least i also have my chanel hydra beauty lip balm it is it is used like a good amount um it's shea butter and it's very nourishing and hydrating that is in my prada re-edition bag it actually can fit a little bit more like if i were to bring my cell phone it would fit quite easily inside the Prada Re-Edition and then I usually do carry my Canon G7X camera as well and that fits quite easily in here too.
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do stay tuned and do follow along because I will be having a ton more videos through the rest of the year. Some videos for Vlogmas as well as other luxury holiday gift ideas for yourself or for the people that you love. And if you want to find more of my content, you can find me all over the socials. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and I'll see you guys here once a week, maybe twice come December. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!